Testing one two. Oh, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, all is good. All is good. Just starting the stream a little bit earlier. Juice ten four seven three. Thanks for coming, Sonny. Uh, Don don't don't know. <laughs> Chicken McNugget. Uh, John Del Oliveros. Uh, so John Del Oliveros, I did test J Star's victory plus briefly, and it has the problem where the characters are not visible. So I can see that the uh, I can see that all of the game looks like it works, the menus and things. But when you actually play the game, uh, the characters are not visible. So that's a quick, a quick test. Uh, I know it was quite a quite a late one, so I hadn't added added it to this list. Okay, so let's uh, let's begin. Firstly, I'm using Vita 3K uh, 11. It's a pretty standard setup. Uh, it's quite yeah, quite re simple really. Nothing really. Nothing really complicated. Um, there's like one or two settings which you can change within the menus. Uh, there's not that much you can change at the moment in Vita Rike. So it's uh, kind of... Uh, it's, it's still work in progress. I mean, there's a lot of games that don't work, obviously. Um, but this one looks like it's working not, not too badly. I'm getting about 45 FPS at the moment on Dragon Quest Builders. And... Um, Inside the cave at the beginning, it's like 60 FPS, but this particular part, it's um, yeah, it's it's just 45. So I'm starting at 82% battery. I have Wi-Fi on. I have uh, the CPU at high, and I also have the fan on auto. Uh, so yeah. So I'm not getting full speed here. Uh, I'm also at one times resolution. Nothing. Uh, nothing crazy. But in the caves, it was working around 60 FPS. But here outside, it's it's gone down. It's gone down quite a lot actually. So we're getting about 38 now. So it's not brilliant. Oh, okay, fall damage. All right, you can move the camera around like this. And this game looks uh, it looks pretty good actually. It looks pretty good. I think it's still at this FPS. It's it seems seems quite playable. Uh, I'm not. Particularly, uh, not really an expert at this game, um, but it does seem like a bit of a Minecraft clone. This is Dragon Quest Builders, yeah. It, it's not a mainline Dragon Quest, I believe. It's just a like a spin-off, um, a Minecraft spin-off. I imagine it'll work. Um, I mean, I imagine it'll be full speed on another device, but on the RJ556, it's working about, it looks like it's working at like half speed, because uh, I think the normal speed of this game is 60 FPS. So what am I meant to be doing? Am I meant to be getting over there or something? Oh, is there, is there a monster around here? Oh, there's a monster. Let's kill this guy. Let's kill those, kill those goos. I feel like this game, even though it's not full speed, seems seems pretty playable actually. Okay, I'm gonna go over here and see what this is. Use. Uh, what am I doing? Oh, I used the banner, sorry. Yep. Plant your flag. Oh, you can save here. All right, that's useful. 
Okay, so you can see the... I don't know why, but planting that flag made the FPS go, like, up to 60. Um, so I'm almost... it's almost full speed now. Like, 59, 55. Residents. Residents requests. Okay, what is this place? You must rebuild the houses. Okay. <laughs> okay, you, I must rebuild the houses. Okay, the, the FPS has gone down a bit now. Oh, well, I missed that. Missed that one there. Oh, I should have. Oh, what are they? Oh, it was a sign there. Monsters always attack from this direction. Build a wall to defend the city. Okay, interesting. Oh, okay. Nice. Fixed it with dirt. Here, take these. Not oh, healing. Bread and jam, welcome back to the stream. Okay. Oh, you can come here. This is actually pr uh, pretty. It seems like a very chill game. Very nice game. I'm going to rebuild that wall. Oops. Let's rebuild that wall. Nice. Yeah, it feels, uh, it feels nice this game. Let's get my, uh, Get my weapon out. Oops. Okay. So, uh, who requested this? Let me just see who requested this. Um, okay, I don't know who requested this, but um, thanks a lot. Oh, I think it was this guy with the big list. Um, Michael So, yeah. So thanks to Michael So for requesting this. I hope you catch this later. I'm not using 2x upscale, I'm just using 1x. So there might be a bit of scope to uh, to update, uh, to upgrade, but I didn't really push this one. Let's, uh, as we've got a bit of time, why don't I just save the game and then see if it see if it works. Because sometimes these games will upscale and then the FPS is not affected, uh, especially on a emulator this low. So let's just save. Okay, I'm going to quit the game. Oops. So we have to quit this way. Uh, oh, that's the... Okay. So to upscale, we just go into the settings, uh, go to the GPU, uh, and then we can put up to 1.5. I think 1.5... Uh, oh, I think, I think 2. 2 is the native resolution of the panel, so it might be a bit better. Uh, oops. Let's keep the filtering down to, to 1. And uh, there's also an option down here, the memory mapping method. So for some games, um, you can switch it to native buffer and sometimes it fixes some of the problems or vice versa. So th these are the two big settings on the on the GPU page, I feel. 
Um, so they're the ones that you want to be looking for. The filtering can probably be knocked up um, if it's if it's only at, uh, if it's at one times we'll get less problems though. Sometimes games break at 16, 16 times filtering, but um, what I'll do is I'll just leave it at that for now. So let's try a two times upscale uh, Dragon Quest Builders. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Bread and Jam, Burnout Paradise. Uh, this is a. This sounds like a um, Switch game, so I won't be playing that today. Okay, let me just go into the game. So it seems to be really unaffected. I really like the music in these Dragon Quest games. An, hello. Welcome back. All right, Dennis uh, Tomé. Vita Freeplay performance is um, actually a bit weird because I find that it oh, I find that it works okay on because uh, we were playing Wipeout 2048 on uh, the RG556 and it was working quite well. Right. So Dragon Quest Builders, it looks like you should not upscale this game because you get this problem here. Um, this very strange lines problem. So you should be playing this at one times resolution or if you if you change it, you'll get this. Yep, so that's a, a, good, uh, a good test here. Do not play it at two times resolution. Uh, I, I could try I could try to 1.5. Uh, I've got quite a bit of time today, so let's let's go. Uh, let's just do another short test, uh, and then I'll go back to one point zero. Oops, I'll go to one point zero. Uh, we'll go to one point zero um, resolution. I keep pressing that box, and you need to be careful with some of these settings because yeah, some of them just don't work. Okay, let's uh, try again. Uh, shout out to uh, Ronda Liso Retro Games, by the way, a uh, friend, in, friend in Brazil. If you're watching, I um, hope you enjoyed this Vita test. I know on, over on your channel, you've been testing a lot of Vita games yourself. All right, so 1.5 actually works. Um, I'm not going to test every single combination, but 1.5 looks like it actually works. So there might be some like uh, uh, some limit on the on the resolution scale that you can do, and I feel like the FPS is not that different. Uh, it's a little bit lower. I think it's a little bit lower, uh, but it's not massively different from what we were getting before. It's still near that thirty FPS, that sort of playable uh, speed. Let me just um, run over here and see. Yeah, it's still not dipping on the 30 FPS, so I think it's, if you want a bit more quality in the graphics, I think you can upscale uh, 1.5, possibly 1.75, but don't go to. All right, let's move on to the next game. This was a pretty cool test. So that was for Michael So. Um, let's move on to something else. Uh, Killzone, Mercen uh, Killzone Mercenary, it looks like. So I'm pretty sure this game will not work um, because it's a very, it's a highly anticipated game. Uh, well, it's it's one of the flagship uh, PS Vita games, but I'm pretty sure it's one that they're still working on. So I'm just going to restart the emulator uh, just to give me the best chance, but I'm predicting that this game does not work. There it is. Uh, here goes Killzone Mercenary. Okay, there's already some font font issues it looks like. Uh, let's never connect. So I've actually finished this game already on a real Vita, so I don't have that much interest in playing this. But um, it, I think it was a decent game, it was okay. It was okay.
Uh, I'll just go. I'm not expecting this to work in the game. It's okay, Killzone Mercenary. Like, it's probably the best FPS on the system. It's better than Call of Duty, it's better than uh, Resistance. I think it's the best uh, FPS on PS Vita. Uh, Mr. Natural, hello, welcome, welcome back. Okay. Oh, I think you meant to put your finger on here. <laughs> Zodiac Curse 12, uh, so Vita, I don't think ever had a version of um, Oregon Trail, I'm afraid. No so oh, uh, Borderlands 2. Um, so I don't really like Borderlands 2, so I think this one is better than Borderlands 2. I think um, Borderlands gets very repetitive. This is more like your traditional, like Call of Duty, uh, you know, um, roller coaster ride type of campaign. Yeah, Chicken McNugget. It seems like everyone's having this problem. I've seen a lot of people in my comments uh, um, talking about this, and I'm not sure how to fix it yet. Uh, if I knew, I would give a decent answer. I remember playing the demo of this when it first came out. Actually, I was quite um, yeah, it was it was a highly anticipated game. It was pretty pretty cool game when it first came out. Okay, I'm just uh, I'm just setting up my real Vita actually because I've just plugged it in for the first time in a long time. Okay. Oh, right. So there you go. <laughs> That's it. So kills on mercenary. It's a crash. It's a crash. Right, let's move on then. Um, that's a bit of a that's a bit of a shame, but let's move on to Wipeout Twenty Forty Eight. Uh, oh, actually, I'm gonna upscale this to one point five uh, because sorry. Uh, tell the police that. Welcome back to the stream. Oh, I messed this up. Uh, I think the person who wanted me to test this um, was asking for. Uh, 1.5x, I believe. What was this? Oh, I think this is frozen. Okay. All right, let's go to 1.5 times for wipeout. Uh, yep. Save that. Go here. Go to the bottom. Okay, so this is at uh, 1.5 times. I think I was testing it quite high uh, before. Was it two times? But okay. Okay, I don't have an online pass. Uh, Wipeout 2048 is a Vita exclusive. Um, but there are two Wipeout games for uh, PSP. I think it's called Wipeout Pure and Wipeout Pul uh, Pulse. Uh, I could be I could be wrong, but I think there's two. Um, I think there's two Wipeout games for PSP, and there's only one for PS Vita. Okay, I'm at 1.5x resolution. This is only a 30 FPS game though. I think the PSP ones are actually running at 60. Uh, 
Okay, I remember playing this uh, a couple of weeks ago, and I was really surprised by the performance. I was, this is this was actually brilliant. Okay, let me just uh, remember how to play this. Okay, I don't remember how to play this. Okay, it's here. Okay. How do I break? <laughs> how do I control this vehicle? Yeah, so if you um, if you like Wipeout at all, or the way that this uh, this game controls, then I highly recommend this uh, this game. Uh, I never really, f yeah, I never got to the end on my original Vita. I got very close, but I think I lost my save um, after a while. Uh, something something happened, but I do uh, I do think this game is a good one. It's a shame it's not f uh, 60 FPS, but maybe there's a patch for it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Because it's running quite quite good. And the graphics are pretty impressive. Uh, there is some shader stuttering, uh, but it's... Yeah, it's, it's okay. Um, again, so this is at 1.5x resolution. I think you'll be able to... Uh, I think it will smooth out some of those little drops actually, which we had before. Uh, my average is still 30 if he's looking at the top right, so that's good. But yeah, this is a very impressive game for the Vita 3K emulator. Um, yeah, it's good. I've actually forgotten how you brake in this. It's like air brakes, isn't it? Or something. Uh, usually I, I probably play the alternative configuration with B as uh, the accelerate and then the L and R as air brakes. Uh, but I think I've just not configured it yet. Also in this race, I don't think there's any of the weapons that are activated. So it could be a little bit faster because of that reason. Uh, when you've got like rockets and bombs and things flying around, it might actually get, uh, might actually get some slowdown. So yeah, it's a really nice game. Oh, I might try the um, combat a combat level after this, just so you can see how it is with with all the missiles and bombs going off, because they might cause some FPS issues. Okay. Let's Quite an easy track, actually. Obviously, we're only on the first uh, speed class as well. I think it, Wipeout can get really fast at the later levels. Uh, oh, it's a little little drop there. All right. Oh, don't know. You can't see the difference between. 50 and 60 FPS. I think uh, if you have a high resolution uh, screen, uh, oh sorry, a high refresh rate screen, it's not that difficult for me to see. Kind of lazy. Where's the Vita? Um, I'm actually just charging my Vita over here. Uh, so it is, the real Vita is active. <laughs> um, I have tons of games on this actually. Whoa, what's going on? Uh, I even have Wipeout, I think. Where's my wipeout? Um, when you look at a, a, a real Vita, um, like it's, they actually look quite dark these days. Like the um, uh, the the screen, the screen looks a bit crap uh, because the old oh, the old Vita is not as uh, whoa, 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 what am I doing? 
the old screen is actually not as good as you remember. Yeah, let me just mess. So I'm just charging my Vita. Uh, it's been a while. Uh, kind of lazy. It is brand new because I, I smashed my original Vita screen. Um, so I, I bought a new like front front glass and uh, I, put, I put it on. So the entire front is actually new because uh, I I dropped my old one um, and I just replaced the glass and the LCD screen, uh, the OLED screen. So it's, the front's been replaced by, by me actually. Uh, it's a and actually it's a 3G model. <laughs> it's a it's a Vita uh, 3G and Wi-Fi model, which is quite funny. Um, but what I did is I removed the 3G card um, to save some battery because if you have a 3G version, it actually uses more battery than the Wi-Fi one just all the time, even if you turn off the 3G radio. Um, so what I did is I removed the 3G card. Uh, whoops. Okay, let's try and get some weapons so we can see uh, see how this behaves. Oh, I just missed a weapon pad. Okay, got the cannons. Oh, use square. Okay, we'll use. Oh, I'm messing up now. Where was the weapons? I want some of the weapons. Okay. How do I use the weapons? Oh, yeah, there you go. Okay, so there was a shared, uh, a shared of cash when I was firing off the weapons. Oh, let's get those weapons. Okay. Looks like it's still able to keep up the speed, even though I'm firing some weapons. I mean, there's no one to fire my weapons at, really. They're all behind me. Oops. here I think this wipeout is a good one by the way like I didn't play I think I didn't play any of the PS2 ones uh, but I was a big fan of the PlayStation 1 versions uh, and the PSP ones Uh, Bread and Jam, yeah, this is the battle, like, different races have different requirements, so this one had some, like, uh, weapon pads you could go over. Um, so in this game you have, like, races, you have time attack, and then you have some uh, ones where they have weapons activated. Uh, so there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of different type of races in this game, which uh, they use to kind of make it, um, you know, less, less just like all, just uh, normal races all the time. Uh, and there's all these like different ships to, to collect. Uh, so there's like, yeah, there's like this racing variant or the fighting variant with more more weapons and stuff. Uh, I, I really like this game actually. I think it's really it's quite good. So you can see all of these like you see all these glitches here. Uh, that's not part of the game, but the basically the map goes all the way over to the to the right here. And there's all these different races. You know, you can probably see the ships here. Uh, and there's hundreds of. Uh, different events and as you progress you open up all the events i really like wipeout 2048 it's a good game so it's, it's a really good one uh zodiac curse 12 is there a de is there a dead or alive venus i think there is a dead or alive venus um i think there is i think there is 
I can't say I've played it though. Uh, I'm not, um, yeah, I'm not one who plays it. Who plays those dead or alive games? <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's move on. Um, so, uh, wipe out twenty forty eight. Great game, really, really great game. And on the RG five five six, it works really well. I think on other handhelds, it just crashes. Um, on Odin two. Whoa, 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 I didn't want to do that. Uh, it, yeah, so on 5.56 five, it's working quite well. Okay, let's, uh, yeah, let's move on. So what, what we've got next on the list. Uh, Virtua Tonis. Uh, so, okay, Adam S, so the list I've got um, in... Uh, the, the games I have installed is in the pinned comment. If you If you press that pinned comment... That's a list of all of the games that I have. Uh, we've played Dragon Quest Builders, Killzone Mercenary. Uh, we tried to play Killzone, uh, Wipeout 2048. The next game here is The Binding of Isaac. Um, so this is for um, this is for Chris. Uh, the name is just Chris. But anyway, um, I think this game actually works. But let's have a look. TJ Jean, how is the screen in direct sunlight? <laughs> That's a really good question. Um, I'll I'll say I've not taken it outside actually. I will say that um, the screen is not that bright. I would say that it's just like okay brightness. It doesn't get that bright this screen. I'm at maximum brightness right now. Uh, Zodiac Curse Twelve. Hopefully, Odin Sphere uh, works. Okay, whoops, I'm still at 1.5x resolution, by the way. I didn't change it from Wipeout, so I'm at 1.5 times. Oh, Michael Benny, yeah, there's that Wipeout. Uh, it was like a game show, wasn't it? Something. I think I know of that one. Wasn't it like they, uh, if you get something wrong, you get wiped out and they they do something like they, they drop you in some water or something like that? I don't, I don't know. Anyway, uh, this is Binding of Isaac. Oh, Chris, yes. Well done. <laughs> Hello, Chris. Um, you made it. Uh, okay, so what's all this stuff? I think I might have played this game before. Uh, I'm Isaac. Okay, excellent. So, um, attack. Oh, oh, yeah, I remember this game. I actually, I actually don't like this game. Because it's too bloody hard. I like the idea of it, but... Like, I, actually playing it doesn't seem, doesn't seem too good to me. Okay, Chris, so I have this, uh, I have this game set at 1.5x uh, resolution, and it, it probably can go higher, to be honest. Okay, there's a shop down here. Not seeing any issues in upscaling it. Oh, still spiders. Oh. Get away from me. Oh my god. I I'm not good at this game, Chris. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm just... Uh, I'm just going to play it a little bit, and I'll, I'll see if I can... Oh god. I'll see how far I can get. It's quite nice to be playing this on like a uh, Xbox layout controller, by the way, because you know the Vita. The Vita has the sticks both at the bottom, and um, I think this one is a cool, a cool handheld to use uh, for dual stick. 
D-pad uh, bottom. And it looks like it's working fine at the moment. I'm doing alright. Killing this guy. Hopefully I can not... Take care of those guys. Okay, let's go. Okay, Michael Benny. Um, I have an Arden 2 right here. Uh, hang on, let me just pause this again. Uh, yeah, so Michael Benny, I've had this question a couple of times actually. Uh, let me just have a little break. Uh, this is an Arden 2. So actually it's quite um, it's quite similar in size. It's a bit odd actually because uh, I even think the 552 might be slightly wider by just like a couple of millimeters. Uh, okay, let me just get to some of these questions. Yeah, buying a visor kit is good, but I never really got into it. <laughs> Being hard is what makes it good. Okay. Um, right. Uh, can you add consoles to the Ambonix stock front end? So I haven't tried, to be honest. I haven't tried. Um, yeah, I, I don't really know how to use this too much. Uh, yeah, there's just a lot of stuff which I don't know how to use. I think they have the I think they have the settings somewhere, uh, but I'm not that sure. Uh, is it in the simulator selection stuff? Uh, I'm just gonna mess this up. Oh no no, it's not here. It's not here. Um, I think it might be here somewhere, but uh, yeah, I'm not too I'm not too familiar with the Ambonic front end. I'm afraid. Uh, I kind of whoops. I kind of prefer just using my own emulators. And to answer the other question, uh, to answer the other question um, that Dan L had, um, I've replaced a lot of the emulators actually. Um, so um, yeah, this, I've added the Switch emulators. Uh, I've upgraded the PS2 emulator to the, um, the best version, uh, which is 1.53668 for Air Force X2. And then Dolphin, I've upgraded to the latest beta. Uh, PPSSPP, I've upgraded. And then Duck Station came with it as well. Uh, and I changed that version, uh, and then RetroArch actually uh, had a different version as well. Uh, I think it had a one one point fifteen or something. I've updated to the latest one, one point seventeen. So I, um, if you if you're happy with how the emulators are working, um, just just stick with it uh, because there are a couple of little bugs you need to um, navigate around for the new versions, uh, especially on RetroArch. There's a bug uh, where you might have like. Uh, problems hitting two buttons together um, so this this issue happens if you upgrade your retro arch so be careful about that one um, but yeah I've I've kept uh, only only like these uh, where is it I've gone I've only kept these here that you see here um, drastic I've added Yabas and Shiro I actually changed as well but the rest um, I, I don't really use that many of these if you need these, you can actually get the latest versions from a GitHub. Uh, there's a person called Robert Robert something, um, and that guy is actually put uh, put them all on his GitHub because they're actually from him. Uh, I forgot his name. It's like Robert. Uh, um. <laughs> our, our mate Robert, our mate Robert actually made all these .dot emu uh, emulators. Okay, let's. Uh, so that was a quick intermission. Uh, oh, actually, it came back as well. I was not expecting. Okay, I was not expecting Binding of Isaac to continue working, um, which is pretty cool. Let's just. Uh, oops. So we killed that boss, which is pretty cool. Um, and. Whoa. I'm actually pretty pleased with that. So yeah, Chris, uh, if you if you want to play some Binding of Isaac, uh, then this 
This is, uh, as far as I can see, it's perfect. Like, I've not played that much Binding of Isaac before. I played a bit on the PC uh, when it first came out, and yeah, I think it's okay. Okay, let's try and kill this guy. Uh, he's, oh, God. Okay, I might get killed. Oh, man. Oh, okay, right. <laughs> I was killed by the poo. Okay, let's move on. Uh, welcome back to the stream, uh, Nock. Uh, oh, Adam S, so the question about Citra. Um, I think that Citra, uh, you want to try Citra MMJ or the Citra, uh, is it the, uh, the nightly build of Citra? Uh, the Canary build of Citra didn't work too well for me. So I was sticking to the nightly and MMJ. Uh, yeah, let's just restart my thing. Um, on the subject of Citra, there's actually a new fork of Citra called Lemonade. And I've yet to try that, but I'm interested in, in trying that one. Okay, Michael Benny, uh, why use uh, Duck Station instead of Swan Station? Uh, so actually, I do use... Uh, I, I use PSX Rearmed um, on RetroArch for PS1. Uh, but I heard that Duck Station has some... Um, quite serious upscaling options where you can go like, you know, three times, four times uh, higher. And it has that option where you can smooth the polygons and make them stop shimmering. Uh, so I think those are options that you only get with Duck Station. Uh, I don't know if they're on Swan Station, um, actually. So uh, I've never used that core before, but that, that would be the reason why uh, you're using uh, Duck Station. Okay, I need to uh, get back onto these games now because, uh, yeah, let's, okay, so this is for, um, okay, what, who is this game for? <laughs> so The Walking Dead. Uh, Walking Dead's pretty old, but I guess, um, oh, what's going on? All right. It's quite a cool game. I finished Walking Dead. I finished it on an iPad, actually. So who is this for? This is for, um, what's your name? Ryan Wright, of course. Okay, Nock, do I have MGS Collection? So I think I tried the MGS Collection in my previous, um, my previous stream. Oops. Okay. I didn't have that much success with it, actually. Uh, MGS Collection. Uh, I'm going to use uh, I'm going to use device control. Okay, we'll go standard. Okay, oh, I got to kill that zombie at the beginning. All right. All right, Adam S. Okay, that's a bit of a problem. Um, somebody asked me about FFX. Okay, don't know. Um, thanks for dropping. Uh, thanks for asking about uh, or giving me, giving me that information about Sly Cooper Four, and welcome back to um, Charles Lombardo. Hopefully, um, everything's okay on your side. I think. Um, <laughs> yeah, I hope everything's okay on your side, um, Charles Lombardo, and you're just um, relaxing and kicking back to some of these streams. Okay, Kitten, I don't really know um, much about Minecraft, I'm afraid. Uh, yeah, I'm not a Minecraft expert. Uh, my, I've got a family member who is a Minecraft, uh, crazy about Minecraft, but um, I'm afraid that it's not me. Well, I reckon you didn't do <laughs> okay, good to hear it, Charles. Uh, I hope you, you're doing good. Silence is an option, All right? But you don't talk too much, do you? Hey, 
Yeah, K Kitten, the only uh, the only Minecraft I've played is probably Dungeons. I mean, that's not really a real Minecraft game. <laughs> oh, okay. I mean, it's more of a Diablo game than anything else. Uh, have you got an... Okay, so... Right. Sorry, uh, sorry, Michael. There's a smear on the screen. Yes, yeah, it's, it's Vita, isn't it? Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, uh, I'm, I think I'm running this at 1.5 again, right? I, I forgot to to change the resolution. Uh, don't, don't know, yes, this is a Telltale game, yes. I think this is like the most, uh, the most sort of well, well known one, right? Uh, I also think, uh, is it Wolf, I think Wolf Among Us came for, came out for P uh, PS Vita. <laughs> Too many decisions. Yeah, I, I think I should try. Uh, I think I should try Minecraft at some point. You know, because it's it's um, you know, it is a classic. It is a classic, whether you like it or not. Yeah, I never really like Fortnite. Uh, I don't like the building part. I like the shooting part. The shooting part's okay, but I don't like building. Although Dragon Press Builders we were playing earlier seems like a cool game. Yeah, this game came out for everything. It's a guy on the street. It's a guy on the street. Oh shit. <laughs> okay, I gotta get out and shoot that zombie. So I think this game works uh, works fine, by the way. Um, there was a little FPS drop, you know, just changing scenes, but I think this game, and then if this one works okay, I think that Telltale used the same engine on all of their games. So Wolf Among Us, um, maybe Batman. I'm not sure if Batman came out for Vita, uh, but all of the Telltale games should be okay. I mean... Yeah, get your leg out. Okay, it's a bit dark this game. Okay, what is the Oh okay, use the right stick. Let's look at the cop. Hey! The cop's hey, dead. Are you alright? I'm still cut back here. Let's get out. Okay, 
Okay, I gotta shoot that zombie. I, I never got round to playing Season 2. I think Season 2 might be out um, for Vita. I think it... Uh, I think either Season 2 or the... Was it the last episode? Um, some Like, more Walking Dead came out other than this, this first Season 1. But this is the entire first season. Okay, I need to get this guy's gun. I'll get him, get his keys. Okay. Okay, he's going to become a zombie. Oh, zombie fired. Is it? Is it coming out? And then what's going on? <laughs> Holy shit! Get the gun. Get the shell. Get the shotgun. Alright, well, let's leave it there for Walking Dead. Um, blew that guy's brains out. Uh, it's all good. Headshot, yeah. Okay. I think uh, I, I didn't see a single issue. Uh, maybe like some FPS drop, just transitioning between the between the scenes, but yeah, no, no issues. Uh, okay, let's move on to... Uh, oh, there's still loads of games here. <laughs> there's so many games here. Okay, uh, Sa Samurai Warriors 4. I'm going to have to speed up a bit because uh, I've only got through a couple of these. Right, Samurai Warriors 4 is for... Uh, what's your name? Welsh, oh, Welsh Warlord, I, I remember, yeah. Welsh Warlord. Let's create some save there. Oh, I keep forgetting to change it back down to one point, uh, one times resolution, but... All of these games are working at 1.5x resolution, I think. Uh, let me just double check. Uh, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm still at 1.5x resolution and everything's working fine. So, no, no issues. We can probably keep out this. Right, do I want to play on easy? Uh, I don't want to play on easy. I'll just play on normal. Uh, tutorials. No, no, I don't want tutorials. That's fine. Uh, the memory of the uh, 556 is 8 gigabytes of RAM and 128 uh, storage. Okay. Fancy, uh, fancy intro, but let's just skip it for the sake of time. Samurai Warriors 4. Okay. There's a ton of uh, prints on the screen. But... Okay, let's play this. Oh, is this what the game looks like? Oh no, it's just a video. All right. <laughs> I thought that's what the game looks like. Uh, it's like Dynasty Warriors. Uh, Sa Samurai Warriors. It's like Dynasty Warriors. Uh, Chicken McNugget. Uh, 
yeah, all of these things on the... So everything in that list, in the playlist, is on my Vita right now. Or is on my uh, RG556 right now. So I've installed all of them. Uh, so anything not on that list, it's going to need a bit of time to install. Um, I do have a, a few more games on my SD card. Uh, but I have to install them. I think I actually do have Metal Gear. Someone's asking about that earlier. Yeah, I don't know. There was a um, there's a big fan of Dynasty Warriors games on my uh, who comes to my channel. It's called Welsh Welsh Warlord, and every request he has is for Dynasty Warriors. <laughs> on every system, like PS2 or Wii or okay, but but right now this game is looking okay. I'm not seeing any huge issues. I like the music. See how it works. <laughs> yeah, some uh, some good music there. They probably had fun recording that one in the studio. Uh, loading times are a bit a bit ropey on this. Yeah, loading times are a bit taking a while. Oh yeah, yeah. Loading time's not great. Okay, hopefully. Okay, we've got thirty FPS, and I, I think it's thirty FPS game. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's okay. I did see some black stuff, some black textures just appear in the in the background, but looks okay now. Oh, this is Dynasty Warriors, all right, yeah. I think it's okay. Uh, t to me, it feels all right. There's a bit of like weird popping where the the enemies sort of pop pop in really close to you. Like the enemies sort of come out of nowhere. Uh, Michael Benny, uh, Need for Speed Most Wanted is, is on the list, so we'll we'll try that in a moment. I've got a horse. Where's that guy? There's like okay, he's over here. Right. Let me use my Musu Musu mod. Oh that okay, what what the hell is that? <laughs> okay, so I think there was some graphical issue because he wasn't in Yeah, there's some graphics issues here. It's not unplayable for sure, but there is some graphical stuff going on like the depth of field or the blur the blurring is went a bit out of uh, control but this is um it's keeping up with the amount of like bad guys on the screen it's quite impressive actually look how many enemies there are on the screen it's crazy That's actually quite quite impressive. It's 
around these guys. Oh, there's a guy there. <laughs> I killed that flag guy. <sighs> right, oh, they're coming out of nowhere. All right. Okay, let's just round these guys up and then I'm gonna... Oh, okay, where's, where's that other guy? Oh, let's get on the horse, can we get on the horse? Oh, nice, okay. <laughs> yeah, that's more like it. Okay, oh, I can't go down there. All right. Yeah, there's some graphical issues. Where's that guy? Oh, oh, that guy got me. He got me. Where's that? Where's the boss? Oh, the boss is over there. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. All right, let's uh, let's call it here. So I think this game is pretty good. There's some graphical issues here and there. I wonder if there's some settings we can use to clear it up, but I think it's quite quite playable as it is, uh, even with those minor graphical uh, graphical hitches. I uh, don't know. Uh, yes, the Vita does have motion controls. Uh, so I think the example is uh, Gravity Rush. It has some gyro gyro control which works. Uh, so. Uh, you can see an example in that uh, of that in my other PS Vita uh, stream, uh, but yeah, that the Vita do definitely does have um, motion controls. Okay. Um. <laughs> oh, the the next game actually, uh, Michael B is uh, Need for Speed Most Wanted. Uh, that's the next next game I have on my list. Uh, so I'm just going to restart the uh, emulator just to give us the best chance of running this, but I'm pretty sure that this one doesn't run too well uh, on this version, the latest version of uh, Vita 3K. But let's uh, let's give it a go. Uh, Need for Speed Most Wanted. Uh, again, I'm at uh, oh I'm at 1.5x resolution, but um, okay. Let me, actually let me change that. Let me go down. Let me go down for that. Just to give us try and give us the best chance. So I'm going to go down to one one X resolution for Need for Speed. Here, because uh, I know it's it might not work this one. Okay, EA Sports. Oh, there's no sound. Uh, oh, that's a bit weird. Uh, Dog sauce, yeah, the Wi-Fi chip should be reasonable for Moonlight. I think Ambenix themselves even did a, a test uh, of the uh, of the um, oops of the Moonlight. Oh yeah, don't, don't know right. Uh, by the way, the uh, Samurai Warriors is is just a Japanese version. It's a Japanese history version of Dynasty Warriors, I believe. Whereas Dynasty Warriors is the uh, is the ch like Chinese history? That's why it looks kind of familiar. Okay, so we're not getting any sound, which is a bit weird. But um, I think I might have seen this sound bug before. 
But, but I just restarted the game and then... Uh, yeah. Let me see. Uh, let, let me just keep going, uh, and because I, I, I think this might be a fail. Uh, yeah, Dynasty Warriors is, is Chinese, I'm pretty sure it is. I mean, Yellow, Yellow Turban Rebellion is, is Chinese history, I think. It's it's Japanese interpretation of Chinese history. <laughs> okay, so this is a bit crap so far. Uh, I think this game it goes straight into the into the like after this movie it goes straight into the game, doesn't it? Uh, hopefully it works. Uh, but I have seen this game with sound before, right? All right, let's keep, let's just hold on. I don't know, I'm, I'm pretty sure there's like, th like 20, 50, uh, 20 or 30 Dynasty Warrior games now. Okay, yep, yeah, just, uh, just for the, if you just joined, uh, the sound is not working on this game. And I can't even skip the cutscene as well. Uh, Resident Evil hasn't... I don't think Resident Evil's even got to like 10, right? Oh, maybe it has. Maybe it has. Oh, okay. Okay. Whoa. Oh, okay. Yeah, Here, here's what I expected. Here's what I expected. Yeah. It, it's not as... Do you know what? I think it's not as bad as like it was on the... Uh, on the RG uh, on the um, retro pocket, like I can actually see where I'm going uh, on this, but in on because on the retro pocket, I think everything was like pink. Oh, it was like weird, so I can actually see how to get somewhere. <laughs> um, bloody hell! Okay, yeah. So this is obviously this is not playable. Uh, well, it kind of it kind of is playable because I'm playing it right now, but it looks awful. The lighting's all wrong. The lighting's all wrong, and there's no sound as well. That sun is like, yeah, that that sun is ridiculous. But when you're inside, it kind of works. All right, okay, let's be going over there, right? There's no sound. Oh, and why is it all stopped? Okay, I got the Porsche. Okay, I got the Porsche and then it crashed. So I think Need for Speed uh, Most Wanted is a, it's a bit of a fail. I, I was kind of expecting something like that. So, uh, yeah, I think Need for Speed Most Wanted. Maybe we can try like some of the other options here, like render accuracy, changing that to high, or maybe tra trying the memory mapping method and changing that to native buffer. But I'm pretty sure um, people have tried this already and have not got that far. So I'm going to bump the resolution scaling back up to 1.5 for the next game that we're going to try, which is Grim Fandango, Grim Fandango Remastered. Uh, I I remember I whoa 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 I remember I got sound working. <laughs> whoa 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 whoa. Okay, so this game looks broken as well. <laughs> I'm not sure what the hell happened, but everything was like fast motion, and yeah. <laughs> Okay, that that was a bit. <laughs> Not a bad idea, actually. Oh, okay. Okay, so the sounds, the sounds working, like the speech is working. Okay. Oh, this is so weird. Uh, Oh, okay, I found the button. So remastered graphics, they don't work.
But original graphics? There you go. This is how you play the game. It, nice. Nice. Okay, so... I think the cutscenes are going to be broken. Like, they're going to play in fast motion, but... This game is actually... There's a magic button there. Original graphics. And it, it works. Okay, what did I do? Steve L. Ah, the tech toy tinkerer himself. That's awesome news. Uh, thank you so much for coming by, uh, Steve. Um, you're a, you're a legend. <laughs> you're a legend in the retro community. Um, and yeah, if you could, if you uh, if you want to take up that challenge with um, with Gamma or with with Gamma, then I think you're going to make a lot of people very happy. Um, with that with that announcement. Fab Fabian Cleveland, welcome to the stream. Hello. That's fantastic, uh, Steve. That's fantastic to hear. Uh, yeah, I'm also, I'm also very eagerly awaiting the Trim UI update as well. Because um, I do have a Trim UI smart. Uh, I did try to give a Trim UI smart to the Portmaster people, uh, but I think they just bought one or bought two in the end. Because uh, I, I was wondering if they, you know, they wanted one, but I can't send, I can't send it without with the battery, so. Anyway, but that is aw awesome to hear, uh, Steve. Let's, uh, oh, can you... Okay, let's go to the garage. Wow. Let's just... Okay, so remastered is just completely messed up. But the original is... The original is great. Uh, I'm, I've, you probably can play this on... You probably can play this on, uh, on Scum VM, right? So, might not be too... Ah, oh, but we've got controller support here, I guess. All right, I'm going to leave it here for... I'm going to leave it here for uh, Grim Fandango Remastered. So it's playable, but not <laughs> not with the remastered mod. Okay. Uh, Squirrel JME. Okay, that's... I've never heard of Squirrel JME, uh, but that's cool that uh, Ambernicar getting one, getting uh, those devices out. I think Ambernick might have a little bit of... Or they might be having some difficulty in producing enough of these RG556, by the way. Because I've heard some of the lead times have gone up a little bit. Uh, I'm not certain about that, but I did hear some people saying, oh, my 556 was delayed. Uh, but anyway. Okay, so the next game here is... I don't know. I've tried Metal Gear 3 uh, HD a while ago, I think on my other stream, uh, but I might be... Uh, I probably won't get around to it today. Okay, so there was someone in... Uh, someone in this description. Oh, okay, Steve. Right. I imagine Christian is not too um, <laughs> interested in this anyway, because he usually, he usually likes the smaller devices, doesn't he? Uh, okay, let me just find who requested this one, uh, which is very... Um, uh, so Pong Pong uh, Pong Siri Oak uh, requested this game. So I I believe there's an English patch for this game, but I didn't know how to get it in English. Um, I'll get it working, but I will just um, play it in Japanese to see um, how far I can get. But this is uh, oh <laughs> okay. Let me try again. This is Cayman Rider um, something. 
Oh, what is this? Okay, this might not even work. All right. Okay, so that that's your um, Cayman uh, Cayman Rider. Is it Cayman Rider Bats Ride War Genesis? Okay, so it just completely doesn't work. Let's just try one more time. Ben Tendo, welcome back. Yeah, I'm not sure why people are having issues with... Okay, so that game just doesn't work. Yeah, some people are having issues with the stream sometimes. Uh, I mean, there's some streams that were going on too long because they were only up for about an hour. But um, yeah, okay, so it's good to hear that you're getting yours, by the way. Yeah, this game is not is not moving. Okay, next game is Sly Cooper Thieves in Time, which is Sly Cooper 4, I believe. Uh, this is already looking a little bit weird, but let's see. Okay, I'm out of the network, fine. Okay, Steve. Um, yeah, Steve, uh, Ambenic um, sent, sent me one. Um, but I think the... I actually think that, like the early ones came uh, to everyone like a lot earlier than than I got mine because I got mine as part of the retail batch. But I think there was a big reviewer batch um, about two or three weeks before me. So we're talking about a month and a half ago when people started receiving them. Ryan Wright, thanks for coming by. Yeah, I have played Walking Dead. So this game. Uh, Looks like um, a no-go. Sly Cooper fees in time. Uh, it showed the logo, but uh, and if I'm, I'm pressing all the buttons, but yeah, nothing's happened. Sometimes like the menu works, but it doesn't actually show anything. But yeah, this is we've just had a a, a string of games which are just not working at all. Uh, let me try. Um, let me try open GL. Oh, okay, so my thing's not even responding now. Uh, okay. Maybe I'll just try putting the upscale into to two, oh, not to eight, two, one. Uh, oh, okay. It's a bit finicky, uh, Vita Freaky. It's a bit hard to use sometimes. So Sly Cooper, let me just try this again. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Don't know. I've just read. I've just read the um, what you're saying. Uh, what was the option? Uh, sign in. Was it? Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. I, I was. Uh, where is it? Is it in network? Okay. I think it's this right. Sorry, I've just read the chat properly. Okay, yeah, there you go. Thank you, don't know. Thanks for that tip. Uh, hopefully, yeah, okay. Brilliant. Oh, I wonder if that fixes some other games. That'll be interesting. Oh, Steve, um, <laughs> I'm pretty sure the GameForce S is, is a better performing uh, device, uh, but the 5.56 is, is more efficient. I think the battery is better. I mean, just uh, through my my own sort of random testing. Uh, I do have a GameForce S as well, Steve. Whoa. Okay, this is not going well. Uh, do I just keep trying? Don't know. Um, it's a bit, a bit crap. 
yeah, I less than three you. I think um, if you want full coverage of Vita games, yeah, just get yourself a Vita. They're not too expensive, but they are a little bit expensive now, actually. Uh, okay, so don't know in the chat is saying you need to download a save to get past that. Uh, so that that makes sense. Uh, I don't think I'll be able. To, yeah, I don't have anything then. Okay, yeah, it's gonna it's gonna crash. Right, so yeah, the tip for this one is to download a save for Sly Cooper and then make sure you're signed into PSN because um, that will get you a little bit further. All right, I'll move on to the next game just for the sake of uh, time. Let's uh, go on. Yeah, Vita is very, it's a, still a very early emulator. Like when the games work, they seem to work quite well, but the compatibility is uh, not, definitely not 100%. It's, I think it's definitely not even like 60% as well. Like some of these games that uh, I, I may, I might even say like, it's not even, not even half of the games are running. Okay, I think that Ebbs... Uh, I remember this bug. Yeah, I remember this. Like, Ebb Ab doesn't appear. <laughs> you bet me a premium account redream. Uh, I'm... I think that it could do it, um, Steve. I think they could do it. I mean, I was playing... Um, I, I did a Dreamcast stream, and I think I was upscaling most of the games. Uh, to about, I think, even like a 1,000, or maybe 144 or something. Um, yeah, it was able to upscale, but I was using Flycast. Okay, so this game is, is also another... <laughs> it's also another one which is not going well as well. So Oddworld, uh, new and testy, I'm afraid, is not is not good. Okay, let's move on. Oh man, it's a string of failures. A string of failures. All right, so that one was for. Uh, where are you? Uh, so Grim Fandango was for Pablo Perez. Shout out to you. And then uh, Sly Cooper was for Fallout Spring. Uh, and then, <coughs> excuse me, uh, Matt, was it? Uh, uh, Mateus uh, was asking for Oddworld, but it didn't work. So we'll move on to something else. Um, let's go here. Uh, oh, what's my... Where's my list gone? Okay, don't know. Um, we can, you, you can find me on Discord probably, if you if you have it, uh, if you have the, the save for Sly Cooper. Uh, all right. So the next game we have here is uh, Persona Three: Dancing in Moonlight. Um, this is for Ion. Uh, if if you don't have it, don't know. It's no no problem. <clears throat> okay. So so far so good. <laughs> uh, oh dear it always happens when I say like when I say something it always happens alright I, I bet the other Persona game doesn't work like uh, as well then uh, oh bloody hell um, okay so okay let me try let me try something here then I will try to put the buffering uh, okay, oh, I oh, shouldn't be doing that. Okay, um, let's try the rendering accuracy on high. 
uh, try to buffer on native, see how this goes. Uh, Little Big Planet is on the list. Uh, there was someone who requested it actually. Uh, I did have problems with that one on the RP4, but I think I'll see. Okay, let's try again. Oh. Okay, I'm pressing what? I press start, right? What the hell is? Why did it? Okay, this is a bit weird. I think I don't know how to get that game working. Um, let me try once more on OpenGL, maybe. Uh, one times. Uh, okay, yep. Yeah. Uh, Ratchet and Clank Collection is also on the list. I'm just working through the... Okay, so this is even worse. This is even worse. Yeah, okay. It's a no-go. It's a no-go for Persona 3 Dancing in Moonlight. Uh, I'm assuming Persona 5 as well will not work. Dancing in Starlight. Alright, so let's uh, keep moving down this list. Uh, okay, so what's next? What is next? MLB 15 The Show. Okay, so somebody asked for some sports games. Oh, I've got all my... Okay, let's, I've got all these weird settings on. Okay, let me just reset my settings. Okay, I'm going to go for Vulcan. Uh, oh my god, it's just, it's gone all weird. Okay, let's just save that. GPU, okay, render accuracy is reset to standard. Uh, reset this back to double buffer and then go MLB. The show. Now, uh, Steve L, this, that game was uh, Persona 3 um, Dancing in star, uh, Moonlight, which was the rhythm game. Spin off. I think Persona 4 I've actually played before. Okay, this one's MLB. Uh, <laughs> okay, I rarely play video games. Uh, oh, okay, I'm confident with video games. Okay. That's a weird question. There's a lot going on on the screen. And I don't know quite. I don't quite know what's. I don't quite know what's going on. <laughs> okay, so. All right. Hopefully that music's not licensed. Okay, MLP is actually giving us some something. Okay, the the lighting doesn't look great. Um, oh god, the FPS just tanked. Oh what? Oh, I'm out. I think this game doesn't look right. <laughs> Oh man. 
Uh, Steve, I think that it's quite, it's very close. I, I do like the GameForce S screen, but it's, um, it needs some temperature correction because it's too blue. Uh, this one also does need some, <laughs> some correction, but there is some different settings in the RG556 uh, menus. And uh, I have it on the standard setting right now and it's okay. I'm out. Okay, I, I don't know. I really don't know what I'm doing here. I'm, I'm, okay, I'm, it looks like I'm hitting really early, so I'm not going to... I need to leave it a little bit. Oh, come on. He, he went too... Oh. <laughs> I'm really bad at this game. <laughs> What is this? Oh, this is warm up. Okay. Weird. Okay, end end warm up. Fine. Oh, I'm pitching now, I guess. Okay, I I'm, I'm I'm done with this. I, I don't I don't know what's going on. Um I don't think this game works that well. It, it looks deceptively, you know, it looks fast and everything, but I feel like the shadows and just everything seems a bit off. Uh, I, I'm not, I didn't have fun with that. It was, it was promising, but I didn't have uh, a lot of fun. Uh, this has become the sports stream. So, cause the next, uh, <laughs> the, the next um, request was FIFA 15. Uh, thanks, Chris. Thank you so much uh, for dropping by. Okay, this already is looking a bit, looking a bit crap. Okay. Um, if, oh God. Okay, I'm beginning. Uh, yeah. So the sound is a bit. Oh, it's starting with the United States. That's weird. Okay. Uh, where's, the, where's my team? There, there's my team. Utilize the touch screen. No, no, I don't. I don't want to do that. Bread and bread and jam. I, I I blame this on you. Bread and jam. I I, I blame this on you. Bread and jam. Because you just uh, you jinxed it. <laughs> okay, so we don't need to play any more of that. FIFA fifteen. There you go. I'm on, yeah, I'm on Vulcan and all that stuff. It's all, yeah, it's all good. Okay, so let me restart the emulator. <laughs> oh, dear. Little Big Planet. <laughs> 15, 15 colors flickering. Oh, yeah, that was a disaster. That was a complete disaster. Oh. Okay, I, I think this game is also going to be a disaster um, from what, from my previous experience. 
It's got a bit of Stephen Fry in. Yeah. A bit of Stephen Fry with the creepy, creepy intro, but I think the game doesn't work. Um, Steve L, uh, so the 556 arrives, uh, arrives rooted. Uh, I, I, like, uh, someone else confirmed it as well, and, uh, my, mine was rooted, and I've seen, I've seen most of them are just rooted. Oh, Bentendo, so you're from, you're from Yorkshire as well, aren't you? Hull's in Yorkshire, isn't it? Isn't it? Like, North Yorkshire. It's been a while since I went back home. Oh, okay, so we're getting something. Yeah, okay, so this is what I was getting last time. Yeah. Yeah, like, it's all messed up. Okay, so that's Little Big Planet. Yeah, I, I remember the same same thing was happening on the on the uh, Retro Pocket Four Pro. Okay, so next up we have uh, Hotline Miami Two, uh, wrong number. So I'm pretty sure this one works. Yeah, Steve L, there's a lot of bugs in, in uh, Vita 3K. There are a lot. But even there's a, I think there's a bug right now. The top and bottom have been cut off. Uh, I'm going to skip the, the, whist, the violence. Okay, yeah, I think right now the top and bottom are a bit cut off, but how do I kill this guy? Yeah. Oh, I got killed. All right. <laughs> okay, I got him. Oh, I got a gun. Oh, I ran out of bullets. Okay, hell divers. Uh, oh, what's this? I do actually have hell divers. Oh, what, what was that? Uh, Steve L, uh, I've got a ton of tests. If you want to know more about um, more about that one, uh, there are a ton of tests on my channel. Uh, just look for the the device that you're referring to. Okay, so I think uh, Hotline Miami 2 is actually good. Uh, I need to restart the emulator because the top and bottom are currently cut off. But if you if you just make sure the emulator is like uh, set up properly, like you've you've just quit it and because Vita 3K does that on all games sometimes, so it's it's actually something that can be fixed. Okay, so let's just drop a, a quick one here, um, Hell Divers, because there's been a lot of requests in the in the chat for it, so I need to look for it and just install it here. Uh, so before these streams, what I do is I actually install every single game manually for you guys. Uh, so it does take a bit of time to set up these Vita streams, and that's why I ask for uh, the requests up front on the on the community page. Uh, but there, here we go with some hell divers. Hopefully, it will install quickly. Yes, yeah, St uh, Steve L, just to come back to your question. I've got hours of uh, 
I think I've got about four or five hours of of, uh, of that device being tested on that emulator, and even the fork as well. Um, we tested a fork of that emulator this week. Okay, so where's <coughs> excuse me? Where's Hell? Oh, it's here. Okay, so this is Hell Divers. I'm not sure if this works, but um, we'll see. We'll find out in a minute. In a minute. Oh, Steve, I'm pretty sure it does uh, work better on S because the the GPU on the five five six isn't very strong. Uh, I think the S is. Oh, I think the S is better. Okay, um, Vita three K Hell Divers doesn't seem to doesn't seem to like it. Let me just try the other uh, memory mapping method just to see. I'm not not sure if this will work, but I'll we'll just give it a go. Yeah, the, I mean the Game Force S is a more powerful than, device than this in general, uh, and I think it's I think right now it's more expensive, right as well. Okay, so yeah, Hell Divers is a is a no go. Okay, let me just reset the configuration to how I had it. Okay, so uh, next game we have is Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2 Plus. Uh, so I've I finished the first Ninja Gaiden Sigma uh, actually on the Vita. I, I never I never finished Ninja Gaiden Black on uh, on Xbox. I wasn't good enough, uh, but I finished it on Vita. Okay. <laughs> uh, I think uh, people are going to be really happy to see that, uh, Steve L. Oh, okay, some sound issues. Let's turn the sound down a bit. Uh, Steve Bell, I have a question actually about uh, Portmaster. Will will it ever come to Android, or is that just completely out of the question? Uh, because there's so many devices out for Android, right? Okay, so let's just skip this cutscene. Oh no. Okay, it looks like Ninja Garden Sigma Two is also another no go. I guess because you, on Portmaster right now, you know, you have a lot of. Um, you have like a, a, a well-defined support list for the devices, so it's kind of easier. Um, but with Android, it's just going to be opening up, I think, a big can of worms. Because Android's just everywhere. Okay, I'm just going to try tinkering around with these. Maybe it'll work, maybe it won't work, but we'll see. Uh, some of these settings. Native buffer. Um, oops. Hi. Uh, okay. Oh, did I have a double buffer? Let me just reset it to that. Okay, I, I think that this game might be another uh, another blowout. Resistance uh, Burning Skies will be next. <clears throat> Yeah, it's it's cool, uh, Steve. It's it's cool that to hear that you're working with us with that team. Uh, that's very cool to hear. Uh, you've got a lot of projects on, Steve. <laughs> you know, this I, I feel like um, you know, you got RG Arc, and then you have got this Trim UI Smart, and then Portmaster now. It's like uh, RG five five six coming up. There's a lot of uh, I bet you've probably got. Like, you know, 20, 20, 30 plus. You've probably got 20, 30, 20 or 30 devices, right, Steve? <laughs> All right, so Ninja Garden Sigma is a no-go. 
That's a shame. Okay. Uh, let's put that down. Okay. Right. So lastly, we have uh, on the on the uh, list we have resistance burning skies. A <laughs> hundred devices, that's crazy. Okay, I seem to remember this game has some glitches. So it might be some graphical glitches, but we'll see. Oh, that's already some glitches. All right. I think I actually, yeah, I think I finished this one on, on Vita. Okay, this is uh, Resistance Bonus, guys. Okay, how's my Vita? So the Vita screen itself, actually, I haven't... I haven't touched a, my Vita for a while, so I'm on full brightness here, and it looks, it actually looks pretty dark. Um, it's been a while since I've played anything on this, and also it feels small. <laughs> after after holding the um, RG556, a real Vita feels kind of, kind of small, man. It's kind of weird. Uh, what, what did I like to play on this? Oh, I have Helldivers. <laughs> Okay. The Volga, the Viking, okay. Oh, there you go, I have Wipeout. I was playing, I think I was playing Wipeout and TXK. Alright. Okay, yeah, so this is what I expected from Resistance. A bit of graphical problems. Dan Barcelos, okay, Karak Street. Uh, so I tried to get Karak Street, uh, Dan Barcelos. But it's not in my region on the Play Store. And when I downloaded a APK for that game, uh, Daniel, um, it wouldn't let me start the game. Uh, there was some Play Store um, Play Protect blocking. Like it stopped me from starting the game. So I don't know how to get CarX Street working. I had CarX, uh, what is it, um, Highway or something? That works fine. I disabled Play Protect as well um, in in the Play Store menus, but I still couldn't do anything. So okay, so this game is a shit show. Um, <laughs> the graphics look all wrong. Yeah, it's 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 unplayable. I think this the the axe looks all wrong, the lighting's all wrong, the shaders are not working. Yeah, it's, it's a bit of a shit show. So yeah, that's resistance burning skies. Uh, so, unfortunately it doesn't work. Right, let's move on to the bonus. Uh, the bonus section. So, uh, where is Freedom War uh, Freedom Wars? Okay, so Freedom Wars. Whoa, okay. A modded... Uh, uh, it only runs carts, Steve. That, that's a bit weird, yeah. Uh, I have a modded Vita. Um, um, I, have, I have one of those. Uh, I bought a new card actually because I had a weird card which was just like a circuit board which you put in. Uh, but looking at the Vita screen now, it's like really, it's actually kind of dark. Uh, just a bit weird. You know, as I was saying before, the quality, the sharpness of the screen is okay. It's not not too bad. Uh, I also. Okay, this is Freedom Wars. Freedom Wars looks like it's working. <clears throat> okay, is that, is that skippable? Yeah, it's... Uh, so something nice I have on the Vita is like a... Uh, there's a, like a launcher which you can use for PSP games. So I have quite a lot of PSP games actually on, on this as well. Um, PSP worked at two times on this device, which is... It's okay, but they still managed to look a bit 
crap on this screen actually. Um, I think it's just the resolution of the screen, it's quite low. I think it was only 540p, right? Or maybe even less. Uh, but I do have a lot of PSP games on this as well. It's quite a cool device. Alright, uh, okay, let's, let's go for Freedom Wars. Uh, Okay, the, the text entry looks like it's working at least. Okay, I'm just gonna par through this. I'm just gonna go through this. Looks like it's working all right. There's some little bits of garbage on the top, on the left, and. Uh, Let's go. I don't know. But it's okay. <clears throat> okay, uh, ED e Ed Zen, uh, how does the Vita's OLED compare to the RG556? So, the Vita, as I just said, the Vita's OLED is quite dark these days, and uh, I think it's a, like. It's it's low resolution and it's dark, so it's quite dated. It's quite a dated panel. Uh, Steve L, I, I would love to see Android uh, emulate some Xbox. I would love to see that. I think that's a Windows only emulator, right? We don't even see it on Linux. Okay, Edzen, um, I think that even though the Odin 2 is not OLED, it's still a very, very good panel, uh, the Odin 2. Ah, uh, okay. I didn't know, um, I didn't know the Xbox emulator was on Linux. Uh, also, Steve L, right? I, I think that the Game Force S, um, I think it would be like a good handheld if if um, if he just if GF if he just um, figures out some of the build quality issues. Uh, but it's unfortunate we had to go through that. Okay, controls, controls, dump. Uh, okay. Right, oh, okay, so this game looks pretty good. Uh, if you ignore, like, the crap on the left and the bottom, it, um, the graphics actually look quite good so far. Okay, what's that? Okay, leap. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, you can run. This game is uh, Freedom Wars, by the way. Uh, Odin Free, yeah, I've, I don't, I've got no idea what the Odin Free is going to be. Oh, it's a monster over there. Has he got a gun? Oh, he's got mines. Okay. Whoa. This is actually not too bad for being emulated. It's working. Oh, what?
<laughs> I mean, I do. I would like an Iron Neo. Um, is it? Um, is it the air? I want the air one with the OLED. Um, but isn't that like a thousand dollars? Like there was a OLED. Um, it was an Air Plus in the Air Plus shell. Uh, that Iron Neo is pretty nice. Oh, I thought it was way more expensive than that. Okay, I got 10 years penalty apparently. Oh, what was I doing? I didn't... Yeah, it would be nice to have one of those uh, OLED Iron Eos. Oh, wait, wait, what happened? <laughs> Why am I creating my character again? Okay, I think I'm going to call it here for this game. There's a little bit of like FPS drop during the fighting uh, just a, a moment ago, but I actually think that this game is pretty playable. So let's move on. Freedom Wars. Okay, so let's try... Um, let's try uh, Odin Sphere. Okay, so I got that bug with the, the bottom and the top bars. Uh, being black, so I'll just restart the emulator. Keeps happening. Okay, let's go for Odin Sphere. <clears throat> okay, nice. Oh, yeah, don't do anything illegal, please. Oh yeah, Bentendo, I, I forgot, I forgot about those. Yeah, I'll, I'll move on to those after this. Oh, I remember this guy. Oh, I think I may have even... Have I even tried this? This, this sounds familiar. Okay, let me just... Uh, I'll just run around in the first bit and see. Oh, is there some FPS? Oh, no, no, it's okay. <clears throat> Oh, I can skip. Okay, I'm going to skip these. <clears throat> the cutscenes look okay, but I will skip them. Oh, there's a lot of cutscenes. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. Okay, I'm not going to play much of this, but it looks, it looks fine. I mean, it looks like... Uh, Dragon's Crown, in terms of the amount, uh, the speed, and the yeah, it looks good.
Okay, from this short section, I think that is at least as good as, you know, the Dragon's Crown. So I, I think I think this game will be fine. As long as it doesn't like do anything unexpected, like, you know, any crashes, but this game looks fine. Alright, let's uh let's move on to those collections. Uh which Ben Tendo was talking about earlier. Uh, I did actually have some requests for them. Uh but I put them a bit lower down, but uh oh I need to restart again. But let's let's go through them all then. Because it's um I think God of War, Ratchet, uh, Jack and Dax, Daxter. Let's just see how they they work. All right, so we'll start with we'll start with Ratchet. Ratchet collection. Uh, I'm not sure how well these like uh, compilation games work because sometimes these emulators have problems switching between built-in games, but we'll we'll see we'll see. Okay. Uh, any, any preference up your arsenal? <laughs> the first one. Hopefully it works. Oh, oh actually, is it is it working? Oh, I can hear the fan going. The fan's spinning away. Uh, ben Tendo, they might have... Uh, that's a good point, actually. Because I think um, God of War 2 is like that. God of War 1 and 2. So it might be individual. All right, let's just skip these cutscenes. Oh, it's actually working. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. Is it... Mm. Is it meant to be 30 FPS, though? <laughs> okay, the FPS is... It's not, like, perfectly 30 FPS. But it is working. The shadows look a bit messed up. Yeah, shadows look a bit messed up. Yeah, when I'm looking in that direction, it's only it's coming down to like 19 FPS, 17 FPS. I think the 556 may not have enough power for this, and I am running out one times as well. I'm not running out a high high upscale or anything. Let's try and keep going. The shadows are a bit... Yeah, the shadows are not, not looking good. Yeah, I think if you ignore the shadows, it's okay. <laughs> you might be better off playing the PS2 one at this. I think the PS2 one will be 60. Right, because I thought the original games were 60. But you do get that cool. I mean, the PS2 one probably has widescreen hack. It's actually not not too bad. It was only when I was looking at a lot of like stuff, a lot of terrain on the screen. Like when those whoa, whoa shit. <laughs> okay, I didn't mean to do that. 
I was using my bombs and it was still running okay. Alright, let's move on to... Uh, I'm going to go to Ratchet 2. How do I switch game? Okay. I'll switch to Ratchet 2. Uh, this is Ratchet 1, uh, Steve. How do I quit the game? Oh, does it just not let me quit the game? Okay. Let's do it, do it that way. Steve, I think the I think the Vita version wasn't wasn't sixty. The, I think the original wasn't sixty. And they probably knocked it down to thirty on the um for the collection. Alright, I'll go going commando. Have I just lost the sound? This the, oh. uh, okay, no, no, the sounds come back. Alright. <clears throat> uh, Steve, have I tried these games on the S? I'm, I'm afraid I'm, I haven't. Um, I converted my S to Jelos, actually. <laughs> uh, I, d I didn't. I really didn't like the S where you, you had to do stuff on the. Uh, well, because I haven't got any SD cards formatted to FAT32, uh, so because all, all my SD cards are in, in bloody XFAT, so I, I ran into this problem. <laughs> I'm waiting. I'm waiting for them to fix that. Should I install your? Is there like a, a an image that you've got, um, Steve, where it's got like XFAT and it's got the XFAT support and it's got the um, fifty nine point six? Okay, yeah, I need to get into all that stuff. Okay, I'll have a look. I mean, I've been deep in RG five five six. Thanks for the thanks for the hint. Okay, so we're on Ratchet 2. The FPS in this game straight away... Oh, shh. I feel like, yeah, th this might be easier to run. Oh, I remember this. All right. <clears throat> Playing Ratchet as an FPS. <laughs> uh, I think this one is quite good. Uh, th this one is quite playable. I'm wondering on PS2 it would be 60 though. But it does look. This one looks quite good. Oh, Sh Shadows are messed up again. Uh, the, those. Um, well, the enemy shadows, Ratchet's shadow looks all messed up. Yeah, you can see here. It's just a square. Oh, uh. Does oh, okay. I think I was thinking Ratchet's first is messed up, but it's, it's actually okay. All right. So, I mean, looks actually looks quite good. I think it uh, the resolution is it higher than. Is it slightly higher than the PS2 version as well? So it's, uh, it's okay. Anyway, apart from the shadows, then uh, yeah, that's uh, that's okay. That one. <clears throat> oh, how do I do this? Okay, I'm I'm not going to try up your arsenal, uh, but we'll move on to another collection. Okay. 
Okay, we'll move on to um, Jack Jack Collection. Oh, does does it just not work? Let me try again. Oh, okay. I think Jack Collection doesn't work. Jack Collection doesn't work. Yeah, uh, Game Force S is a handheld. Um, <laughs> Game Force S is this device here that I have here with a lot of sweat marks on it. Uh, but it basically looks like a Switch Lite. Um, let me just turn it on. Anyway, uh, so Jack Collection is it's not not go not going. Uh, one last try. Yep. All right. So Jack Collection is a no-go, completely no-go. Let's try God of War. Um, maybe with the Jack Collection, you could try to get the games individually, but uh, I'm not sure if that's possible. Okay, we've got God of War Collection. Okay, is it going to work? <clears throat> I think God of War Collection, maybe the similar issue. Uh, not getting much here. Okay, let me try restarting that. It's got this weird sound. Okay, so God of War Collection is also a bit of a fail. Alright, okay, that's weird then. So the only collection that works is Ratchet. Yeah, so for MGS, I actually have the games separate. Um, let me just install one of them. Uh, where is it? MGS. It was a launch game, right? Uh, Snake Eater. So I, f I feel like, uh, wasn't Final Fantasy two different? I think Final Fantasy was two different discs, right? It, well, it didn't come as a collection. Yeah, uh, this is again false ace, by the way. Um, so I have Jellos and Emulation Station. Uh, that It comes with Emulation Station. This is quite, it's quite nice. I like it. Uh, performance, performance on Linux uh, is not amazing like because gamecube games not that many of them run full speed uh the ones that i tried uh but the oops uh similar to i think dreamcast as well the these are these are running okay but yeah this is a game force s um it's a bit fingerprinting device uh, it comes in white as well i think not sure if uh they're still selling that one but i've got the uh 12 plus 20 uh, 256 gig model uh, it's pretty. It's pretty nice device if you've got uh, when you when you get jealous on it because I feel like the Android that I came with was a bit bare bones. Like there was just nothing on it. All right, so I got MGS three. Uh, let's try try that. Uh, where's Metal Gear? Oh, did it uh, refresh? There is. Oh, okay. So I think my MGS3 looks corrupted. There's something going on here. Yeah, I think my MGS3 was messed up. That's a, that's a shame. Okay, well, my MGS3 looks like it's, it's something's gone wrong, but. Okay, let me let me try my MGS two. Uh, where is it? Okay, might also be messed up. <clears throat> my Docker 
It's good to hear that you got your RG556. Great to hear that. Yeah, Steve, it looks like I have missed a lot on GameForce because I, I did play a bit of it, but then uh, the 556 came and then I was doing a lot of videos on that. I think I did do two videos on the uh, on the on uh, on the S, uh, but I didn't do that many. Okay, is this also broken? Oh, okay. <laughs> so it looks like my my MGS was was broken anyway. Uh, I sometimes have these kind of install issues, but I won't be able to play MGS either. All right, I'm gonna go back to my list because I know those games. I know the games on that list have all installed properly. This is a bit crap. I need to re uh, find my Metal Gear. Okay, I'm gonna try. Um, I'm gonna try something I haven't played before, which is uh, Dynasty Warriors Eight. Uh, so this is also a request from uh, Welsh Welsh Warlord. I imagine it's the same. As uh, I imagine it's the same as the Samurai game, but we'll see. <clears throat> okay, thanks for checking, uh, Ben Tender. Oh, wow, Steve, you're getting 55 on Mario Wonder. Wow, that's pretty cool. I think it, I think I was getting like 40 or something, or I had to come down to like um, 540p to get a decent resolution on it. Okay, there's some sound issues here. Okay, Lou Boo. Right, some music issues. Okay, so there's some... I'm going to skip this. Alright, there's some sound issues in this game. Oh, there's a... That's... Okay, there's a lot of issues in this game. <laughs> it said like 103 pipelines. Okay, let's give it a second. Maybe there was... Okay, it couldn't handle it. There was like 103 pipelines to sort out. Right, so it looks like Samurai Warriors... Works okay, but Dynasty Warriors doesn't. <laughs> okay. Uh, I wanted the Gucci case, but they didn't send me one. Um, Mc, uh, McNugget. I wanted one. All right, what else have we got here? Um, okay, Batman Origins, Batman Arkham, okay. Yeah, Steve, um, <laughs> I got into contact with, uh, I don't think I get them like the normal way because <laughs> I, I have a, um, I have someone who I, I, who I can talk to at Ambernic. Um, I heard, doesn't Ambernic have like a special list or, or Powkiddy or someone? I've Like I've never got anything out of Powkiddy. They've never contacted me or anything. Um... <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, so we've got a sound issue. It's a very strange sound issue. Yeah, I think I feel like I've done like some good Pow Kitty videos in in, <laughs> in the past as well. So um Okay, that's good. Yeah, I, I'm definitely not on the list. I'm definitely not on the list. Because I don't automatically get one. Okay. So the men. Oh no. Okay, so the sound is messed up in this game. And the people are disappearing. 
Okay, the graphics look quite good. Oh man. Yeah, the, the, the sound is really messed up. The graphics look good as well. That's a that's a shame because the graphics are looking quite good, but the sound is just a shit show. Is it like the? Uh, can I turn the sound off or something? Uh, is it dialogues okay? Is it the music? Oh, okay. So you could turn the music off. Uh, interesting. Okay. So the music is the problem in this game. If you if you turn the music off, it's okay. Nice. Okay. Right. Oh no no no. Oh, is that? Okay, so the, the rain sound is too loud. Ah, uh, yeah, so my, my trick didn't really work. There's some, like, ambient sound which is causing this problem. It's not just the music. Get in there, Batman. <laughs> okay, it's 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 a real shame because everything else looks good, but it's just the sound is it's just gone. Yeah, it sounds like the rain. It sounds like the rain effect. Maybe if you get past this part, it's okay. Oh, we can actually hold the touch screen this time. Okay, maybe if I get inside, it's gonna work. Tin roof. <laughs> oh, yeah, the, the graphics in this game are quite good. Okay, I gotta turn that down. Let's do a glide kick.
There's a lot of these guys. So I never really, really like the Batman combat. It's a bit... I don't know. I prefer, like, Devil May Cry combat to, to this. There's too many... I don't know. It seems a bit easy to me. A bit too easy, this. Oh, there's the rain again. Okay, we'll leave it here for Batman. If if that rain stops, then maybe you can you can have some peace in that game. <laughs> he sounds like he's constantly in a rage. <clears throat> Back touch. Okay. Um. That's a good question, actually. I think there was a... Yeah, I, I think you... Uh, I think they haven't thought that. <laughs> yeah, how does the back touch work? How does the back touch work? Uh, controls. Uh, on the overlay, wasn't there a way to do it? Because um, this is more of a... This is more of like a, um, a mobile phone emulator, isn't it? Okay, let's drop um let's drop one more game. <clears throat> let's drop one more game. Let's see what we've got here. Uh we've played a lot of these today. Uh, actually, I think we've played all these games today. That's pretty crazy. Uh pretty much. Oh, not that one. Got some Mega Man. Uh I I might have. Was there a Mega Man for Vita? Oh, Unit Thirteen. Actually, let's let's try and run Unit Thirteen. <clears throat> Unit Thirteen was a good game. That was a Vita exclu exclusive. Let's uh, start finishing up the stream. I mean, I've got some Mega Man on this. Oh, okay. So I think I'm, I'm actually, I think I'm running out of space because all my games are failing to install. Uh, let me just check. I think I ran out of space. Yeah, yeah, I've only got one gigabyte free. That's why my games are not working <laughs> when I try to install anymore. Okay, so at least I've, right. At least I figured it out then. Okay, let me delete some of these games. Um, and then I'll, I'll put Metal Gear on actually. Let me delete some of these games. That's why my games are not bloody working. <clears throat> Sly Cooper wasn't, wasn't doing so well, right? Okay. Let me, let me put Metal Gear back on Metal Gear 3. Cause we were trying to get that working and it's not, I was not real. I didn't realize that I'd just ran out of space. Uh, the thing about the PS Vita, uh, oh hello Dylan Gaming by the way, um, yeah, the thing about the PS Vita uh, emulator, Vita Freecare, is you have to install games to your internal storage. So this is a bit of a um, limitation of the emulator right now. Uh, Angry Birds, I think I don't have Angry Birds. Yeah, Chicken McNugget, you're, you're perfectly right. Okay, so it's successfully installed, okay great. Yeah, I should have listened to your Chicken McNugget. Um, how did I get so many games on there? I only had like one gigabyte free. That's why none of my, none of these games were working or were installing. I think the other ones are okay. Oops.
Oh, really? Chicken nugget. Okay, interesting. Okay, so some... Oh, that's a bit of a... Okay, so what games weren't working at all for us? Could be the God of War, um, Chicken McNugget might be the God of War and the um, Jack and Daxter collection might have been affected by me messing around. I might go and re reinstall those. Do I have Blaze Blue? I've, I might have. Okay, so I, I think somebody was saying that this game doesn't run well, but... It's not too bad right now in this cutscene. <laughs> Genshin, yeah. Genshin, uh, I did actually have it installed, but I had to uninstall it um, to get my Vita games on here. Which is a shame because it was like a 30 gigabyte download. Interesting. Um, yeah, I might need some SD cartridge. Uh, Mr. Natural, I did try... Uh, oh, have I tried Crisis? Uh, no, I, I haven't tried Crisis, actually. I have the Switch version of it. At the moment, this cutscene's running pretty good. Yeah, Steve, I've got, I've got a lot of SD cards. Uh, I've got a lot of them. Okay, so this is working all right. Let's just get to the gameplay. Oh, okay. Okay, not, not terrible. Where's my... Wait, where's this? Oh, it's, Vita only had one... <laughs> I forgot that. I forgot about this. God, it's kind of weird playing Metal Gear with a touch screen. Okay. I think I've not played this version of Metal Gear. Have I? Alright. Yeah, I think I've not. Have I played this one? Okay, so we've had a bit of uh, th th we've had a bit of com uh, what's it codex, codec. We've had a bit of uh, cutscene, and now we've got gameplay. Uh, to me, this gameplay is actually not too bad. Can you get up this? Snake? Yeah, go on. Oh, dude, the face is not anime in the in this version or something. All right, I'm in. Okay, commencing virtuous mission.
Uh, am I playing anything outside of streaming? Uh, not, not much, to be honest. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm playing on my Iron Nail Pocket Air. I was playing some PS2 games on my Iron Nail Pocket Air. Uh, Tekken. Oh, oh, okay. So there's some weird issue there. The water is showing through the hill on the right. That's a bit. That's a bit crap. Oh yeah, there's some water transparency issue here. <laughs> Snake has just disappeared into the water. Okay. Oh, I can die here, right? Oh shh. Okay. Right, yeah. Oh, I. Sh I didn't see that. I didn't see that croc. Oh. I didn't see that one either. Oh, I'm going to shoot that croc now. How do I shoot the croc now? Wait, how do I go? How do I go first person? Oh, there it is. <laughs> I'm going to get killed by the crocodile. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, man. Oh, no, I think I'm going to die. Oh, okay. Whoa. Oh, I died. I got killed by the first crocs. But there is some water issue, some transparency issue there. Okay, Snake is dead. And I think so is the stream. Let's, uh, let's call it a day. So we tested a ton of these PS Vita games today. Um, let's get out of this. I'm going to just... Uh, whoa, it's just crashed. I'm just going to try uh, reinstalling God of War. And, okay, let me delete some of these games and just make some space. Uh, let me just reinstall God of War and... Oops. Let's see how that one might work. Where is the God of War? Let's just delete some of these games. Kills on. Uh, I'm going to try reinstalling God of War and. Uh, what was it? Uh, Jack. Jack Collection. <clears throat> uh, but while that's finishing up. Yeah, Ben Tendo. Some of these games, right? When they when they work, they're quite they're quite good. They're actually quite good. Uh, so from from the ones that we tested today, I think Dragon Quest Builders was pretty playable. Uh, Samurai Warriors Four wasn't too bad. Uh, what else? Well, Wipeout Twenty Forty Eight was great. Uh, Binding of Isaac. Freedom Walls looked pretty good. Uh, Odin Sphere. Dragon's Crown, we've we played. I played before elsewhere, uh, and the Ratchet and Clank collection was actually was actually okay. I thought so. There was a couple of decent, decently running games. Screen swap devices. <laughs> okay, it says successfully installed for God of War. Uh, let me install, <laughs> and it just crashed. Let me install the Jack collection. <clears throat> Uh, where is it? Uh, okay, here it is. Jack collection. Just make sure it's successfully installed. Uh, Steve, the RP4 Pro is... Um, it's too big, right? The, the screen's too big for that. I mean, the screen's bigger than the device. <laughs> it's a very dusty RP4 Pro, but... I think the I think the uh <laughs> the screen's not gonna fit that one.
Okay, we'll give uh, these two collections a, a go and then... Oh. <laughs> Just need some bigger bezels. Okay, we've got these two collections installed properly. Um, we'll see if God of War does anything. Okay, same same story it looks like. So I might have had it installed properly beforehand. Uh, let's just try once more. God of War collection. No, nope, I think it's gone. Yeah, it's gone. Okay, and then the Jack collection. All right, so I think I had the games installed properly beforehand anyway, um, but they're, they're also not working. Yep. All right, uh, here's your Here's a bonus game. Uh, so Final Fantasy X. Uh, I think someone in the chat was saying it was working okay, but they played for they played until the the first battle or something, and then it it crashed. So, oh, let's uh, let's leave this on. Uh, I won't be playing it fully. <clears throat> Yeah, I think uh, FFX is the PS2 one. Oh, was it not the first battle? Or someone said it was crashing, right? Anyway, we'll leave it here. I'm not sure if uh, FFX is working well uh, past the, the past like half an hour or something. I mean, that could be really frustrating if you're playing a you know you're playing a uh, long RPG and on an unstable emulator. So probably, <laughs> probably not recommended. Um, if you you know if you value your saves, uh, I'll come back to the story of when I I first got Final Fantasy X um, in uh, when I was living in the UK. Um, I had my I have a I had a Japanese PS2, and then I imported uh, Final Fantasy X in Japanese, and my intention was to play it with a a full translation like a paper translation in front of me while I was while I was playing the game so I would sit in front of the TV and then have just like this uh, you know like 50 pages or 100 pages or something of, of the translation in front of me and I would play the <laughs> play Final Fantasy 10 um, because I was so hyped about that game Oliver Mirez thanks for coming by um, yeah and then uh, I had a save with like 25 hours of Final Fantasy X and uh, all in Japanese and I don't I don't know Japanese and um, I don't know how but I lost my save and I never I never went back <laughs> I never went back to playing this game so yeah that's my Final Fantasy X story okay uh, I'll be ending the stream here then thanks a lot for coming by and checking out some PS Vita games with me on the RG556. It's been a it's been a pleasure for uh, checking out some of these games for you. So shout out to all of the people who made requests. Uh, who are let's just do a list here. There were so many people actually, which was really nice. So shout out to uh, Hugh Hugh Janus, <laughs> uh, Chris. Um, shout out to Samuel English Jr. Uh, who else? Oh, I can't, I can't see the Pablo Perez. Uh, Fallout Spring. Uh, Pedro. Michael So. Um, Ian. Who else is here? Uh, SXSDT. Shout out to you. Um... 
Garrett O'Rourke for asking uh, asking for MLB and FIFA. <laughs> yeah, Hugh Hugh um, Hugh J is a very funny guy. <laughs> Uh, who else? Uh, oh, Welsh, Welsh Warlord, of course. Uh, Mac. And all you guys in the chat as well. So shout out to you. Chicken McNugget, Bentendo, thanks for staying. <laughs> thanks for sticking around. Uh, Oliver Mirez, unfortunately this is the end of the stream, but yeah. Uh, you can rewind back and check all the tests. Uh, Odanrov, uh, Steve Laminger, the Tech Toy, uh, what's your name? Tech Toy Tinkerer, yeah, Tech Toy Tinkerer. Thank you so much for joining the stream. It's been a pleasure to have you here. Uh, a, a real legend in the retro gaming community. Uh, Dylan Gaming, thanks for coming by, Mr. Natural. Uh, Madoka, congrats on your uh, receiving your RG556. Uh, Bre Bread and Jam. Thanks for coming by. Uh, Ed, Ed Zen. Thanks for your question. And I think that's about it. Thanks so much for coming by. And E39 Matt asks a question. Can it play Fortnite? I'm pretty sure I can. Uh, this, uh, let me just stop for Fortnite. I'm not going to play Fortnite, but... Um, well, it can play Stumble, guys. <laughs> Let me just try downloading Fortnite. Oh, actually. I don't think it can play Fortnite. That's interesting. So when I search for Fortnite, it doesn't appear. Okay, so I guess you need to sideload it or something. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, see you guys in the next stream thanks for coming by and if you like this stream drop a like on it if you want notifications when I go live make sure you subscribe and ring the bell thanks a lot bye now Okay, so Final Fantasy X. Final Fantasy X, and then we have a crash. So, yeah, watch out for that one. <laughs>